Hi, this is Sandra. And this is Tanisha. And, and you are watching Big Stone Television. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to Big Stone Television as you know the episode of Jamaican great great singers great producers great artists will forever be on my tongue because guess what they say they took the Grammy to the United States of America but if our younger ones who just listen to the greats of the greats in Jamaican music where it all started then we would have to worry about anyone Taking the Grammy. Who do you remember a tune like I shall not, I shall not remove. I shall not, I shall not remove. Just like a tree planted by the waters. I shall not remove only think of that only think of that i've been trying a long long time but i couldn't make it everything i seems to do seems to go wrong seems that i've done something wrong but guess what i'm not no dead Roy wilson you know who i'm talking about one of the greatest boys ever to come out of jamaica Ladies and gentlemen, compared to a number of his contemporaries, Delroy Wilson never seems to be really respected or recognized outside of the traditional reggae audience, but he is one of the greatest singers and songwriters to ever come out of Jamaica, a country justifiably famed for its singers and songwriters. This young man, Delroy Wilson, is a rarity in the entertainment business. He possesses extreme youth plus a combination of patience and skill which far surpasses his ear. He also has a fine style and all these good things about Delroy come out in his singing, thus winning him countless fans all over the world. Born the 5th of October 1948 in Kingston, Jamaica, this sprightly youngsters debut in the world of entertainment at the age of 13. While still attending Boys Town School, young Dayroy came up with it after it after it for Cox and Dodds at Studio One. His first record, Amy Lou, was an immediate hit and was soon followed by Beautiful Baby, I Shall Not Remove, and Joe Lights. In keeping with the spirit of the time, Delroy also engaged on behalf of Mr. Dodd in on record attacks and rival record producer and sound system joe leagues and spit in the sky were both directed at prince buster as was prince favor where mr dodds himself can be heard in a very rare appearance on vinyl intoning ominously when i say get down i mean get down Delra was at the heart of music making a front runner in coxon stable 
as an artist and he sung love songs, reality songs, religious songs, all type of songs in his inimitable voice. And as the rhythm slowed down from ska to rock steady, Delroy voice continued to develop and mature and a non-stop run of hits including Riding for a Fall, Rain from the Sky, Never Conquer, I Don't Know Why, True Believer, Feel Good All Over, and the Almighty Dancing Mood, a gentle scare into Rocksteady adaptation of the Tom's tune of the same title. All sound every bit as beautiful now as they did at the time of the original release. Delroy now formed the short-lived Dublin C label in partnership with Stranger Cole and it with I Want to Love You, a version to Danny's Elbert's Will You Ever Be Mine? And this song would become one of the billion blocks of modern Jamaican music during the next decade. Towards the close of the 60s, Delroy recorded briefly for Bunny Lee but, as Tony Rounds recalled, however, at this time, Bunny Lee was enjoying great success with the great Roy Shirley, the Uniques, and Glenn Adams, among others, and Delroy was never exploited to the full. He then began recording for Sonia Patchinger, High Note Label, and it hurts, Put Yourself in My Place, was a massive Jamaican and UK hit. Delroy then returned to Bunny Lee, and their first recording together, the anthematic Better Must Come, was adapted by the People's National Party as their campaign song for the 1971 election when Michael Manley came to power. The music reached the people and won the election, Bunny Stryker Lee said. I made songs like Better Must Come for the politician and the youth and the PNP used it to help win the election, said Delroy Wilson. Stryker followed this up with the immortal cool operator and this was followed by a slew of hits including Here Come the Arctics and Who Cares. Delroy also sung over a number of his studio one hits for Stryker including Never Conquer and Dancing Mood. Remaining at the very forefront of Jamaican vocalists, Delroy continued to record a combination of covers and originals from Kingston top producers, including the amazing This Life Makes Me Wonder, released in Carib Disco, and the Mile McSanages, Pretty Girl for Joe Gibbs. Towards the end of 1973, he sang Have Some Mercy over a cut of Lee Scratch Perry. To be a lover, I forgot to be a lover, written for Ainsley Folder, striker reminiscing. You know Delroy just went into the studio and did a freelance thing, pan it. But it was a monster hit and inspired countless virgins, including Augustus Pablo, Pablo's Mercy, and Jaloy's Soldier Round the Corner. His work on the Hooking Brothers at Channel One included a superb version of the spinners, It's a Shame which Stryker used as the inspiration of his infamous flyer, Style of Rhythm, which held the world of reggae in a tight stranglehold through 1974 and 1975. Delroy Wilson never enjoyed a crossover hit, although his masterful cover of The Wailers, I'm Still Waiting, produced by Lloyd Chalmers at Federal, can definitely be regarded as the one that got away. It was a huge hit in the UK, although it was only ever available as an expensive pre-release import single on the LTD label. However, despite its massive popularity, it was never officially released in the UK, where it was a certainty to follow Ken Booth's Everything I Own, also produced by Lloyd Chalmers at Federal, to the number one position in the national charts. When digital rhythm came to prominence in the following decade, Delroy cut a number of sides for King Jammies, including the wonderful Don't Put the Blame on Me and a masterful cut of Augustus Gussie Clark rumors rhythm for Stryker entitled Ease Up. Delroy continued to record and score hits for a variety of producers, but was now only considered one of the greats among the cognizant and his plenty of 
since approach never really found favor with reggae's new found audience however it was not popular with the traditional reggae audience but also a huge favorite with other singers as influential as he was Delroy was never going to follow fashion and towards the close of his career he was increasingly sidelined by a younger artist whose performances could never hope to come close to his Diffident Magnificent. I feel genuinely privileged to have had the pleasure of meeting this modest, self-effacing giant of a genre he helped create, to have seen him work on stage and to have heard him sing in the studio. Delroy Wilson died of complication from cirrhosis of the liver on the 6th of March 1995. He was 46 years old. It is unlikely that we will see or hear his like again. What an artist, what a singer. Singers of singers was Delroy Wilson. I remember as a little boy growing up and just listening to the beautiful tone of Delroy Wilson, how he comes across so easily. You have to help but wonder where did this golden voice come from? I just want to say gone too soon, gone too soon, gone too soon. But thank you so much, Delroy Wilson, for the slew of it's of the it's of the it's of the it's that you have left us. And if our younger generation just tie and pattern you, we can ring Grammys after Grammys after Grammys. Delroy Wilson, you came, you saw, and you definitely can't cut. My condolences goes out to your family and your friends and your many well wishes scattered right across the world. You're indeed one of the greatest. We will never ever see or hear your likes again. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time to do so. Thank you.